Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how we can uh, convert a one minute data frame to let's say five minutes or 15 minutes, basically how to convert from one time frame to another. And we will be using Python to do that using the resample function. So let's start. The first thing is obviously importing the libraries. So in this, we only require basically one library to do that, that's pandas. And I will be getting data from Yahoo Finance. Um, let me just import warnings as well so that I can remove all the um, ignorable warnings. So first thing is we'll download the data and let me just download reliance data. So data and this is a minute data that I'm downloading. So yahoo finance dot download and we have to put the ticker name. Now whenever you put the ticker name, you have to put dot ns in case you don't know how to use the yahoo finance library. There is a separate video for that. You can go through that. Then period is equal to let's say five days. That means I'm getting data for five days. Interval is equal to one minute. So I'm getting a one minute time frame data and I'm just making auto adjust to be true. And we have to set the index. So data minute dot index is equal to And let's print it out. So let's see the first five rows. Okay, let's, so this is the common, we have not uh, done anything new here. This we have already learned before. This is just basically getting the data. Um, okay, I think, okay, date time. So yeah, we can see that we have got the data and we have the data in one minute interval. As you can see, 915, 916, 917, 918. So we have one minute interval data. Now what we want to do is we want to convert it into let's say a five minute data or a 15 minute data. So for that, first we'll make the aggregate function. So we are using OHLCV, we are making a dictionary. And we are just going to tell what all so for the open prices we want the first price so we want the first price then for the high we want the max price because that's what high means for the low we need the minimum and for the close We mean we require the last data point and finally for the volume we require the sum now here's few things to note the naming should be similar so if it's open with a capital O you have to write open with a capital O so I've written same column names and basically what I want so for the open price we need the first price for the high we want the maximum of let's say first 15 minutes for the low we want the minimum of the first 15 minutes and the close is going to the last and the volume it will be the sum of all the uh, volumes in the in those 15 minutes or 10 minutes so now let's resample the data so i'm going to make a new variable called data underscore 15 minutes where i'm putting my data underscore minute which is my original data frame i'm just making i'm just using the dot resample and all i have to write is 15t so this will convert it to 15 uh, minutes time frame and I am using the aggregate of OHLCV so I'm using the aggregate uh, parameter and I'm putting how I want to aggregate then let's just drop if there are any missing values so drop any and in place is equal to true that means it will just save it as well and finally let's print it out so 
Okay, let's run it. Now you see here that we have got the 950, 939, 45, 10. So basically all the data has been converted to 15 minutes time frame. And you will notice that the first price, right? So 2343.8, that is same because the opening price was supposed to be same, but the high would probably be different. It will be the highest of these, which is 2348.89. Um, in fact, we can make it a five minute so that I can, we can actually check if it's working fine or not. So 2343 is fine. Now out of these, the highest is 2348.8. So we've got the high price correct. Now out of these, the lowest is 2333. So we've got the low as well. And the closest 2334, which is here. And the volume would be the sum of all these. So it's about 85, 72, about 2.3. Okay, it's about 2.5, right? So it's working fine. So you can easily convert from any time frame. And this is how you convert or resample a one minute time frame to a five minute time frame. So you can go ahead and test it out. And if you like the video, please uh, do subscribe to our channel. I'll thank you and I'll see you in the next video.